okay, DHSS model, LAN. So what have we got? We've got, I don't know how well you can see this, but we've got households, firms, we've got a fixed quantity of some resource coming in. It could be land, it could be in this picture, sunshine. Okay, we've got fixed, we've got labor, we've got production, investment, consumption. Okay, and we've got a Cobb Douglas production function. So this is that the model. Y is ALL to 1 minus alpha minus beta K to the alpha R to the beta AL dot over AL is G or GAL if you like. I'm just going to call it G. K dot is SY minus delta K. So those are all the equations you've got. So let's assume then that labor L or population is just constant. And then we're told assume balance growth characterize the balance growth part. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We're going to use the techniques we used with on the solid model earlier, looking when we looked at balance growth there. Plus a bit more. So on balance growth, anything that's growing is growing at a constant rate. And a constant rate means that, for instance, k dot over k is constant. So if we take this equation and divide by k, we end up with k dot over k is s y over k minus delta is constant. So let's call it, well, we can call it whatever. Well, whatever. It's constant. So which means if this whole thing is constant, delta is constant. So y over k must also be constant. Okay. So if y over k is constant, that means that if y grows by 1%, k must grow by 1%, yeah? Which means that y dot over y must be equal to k dot over k on the balanced growth path. We assume, we've assumed we've on, we're on a balanced growth path. That implies that this must hold. So that's the first thing we know about the BGP. Y dot over Y is K dot over K. We also know that AL dot over AL is G. But what more can we find out? To find out more, we need to differentiate this with respect to time. So dy dt, which is just Y dot, isn't it, is equal to. So how much does Y change with time? It's how much AL changes, well, it's how much AL changes with time times the effect of AL on Y, plus how much L changes with time, plus the effect of L on Y, plus, etc. So it is effect of Y of AL times how much AL changes with time, plus effect on Y of L times how much L changes with time, plus effect on Y of K times how much K changes with time, plus the effect on Y of R times how much R changes with time. So dy dAL is 1 minus alpha minus beta times Y over AL. shifted the AL across to get that. dy dL is 1 minus alpha minus beta times y over L, but then it's times L dot, but L dot is naught, so that disappears. 
Oh, and AL dot over AL is just G, isn't it? dy dk is alpha times y over k. Alpha y over k, so it's alpha y times k dot over k. dy dr is beta times y over r. Beta y r dot over r. So y dot is this. Now let's just divide through by y, and we have y dot over y is that. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now, k dot over k is the same as y dot over this, so this applies anywhere, yeah, not just on balanced growth. But then on balanced growth, we know this, so we can replace k dot over k by y dot over y, and we end up with 1 minus alpha y dot over y. So 1 minus alpha minus beta times g plus beta r dot over r. Divide through by 1 minus alpha, and we get that. So this applies on the balanced growth part. Y dot over Y is 1 minus beta over 1 minus alpha G plus beta over 1 minus alpha R dot over R. Oh, but wait, this was land. What do we know about R dot over R? It's zero. So that goes out. So, whew, what did we get in solo? In solo, we got that y dot over y is g. But in solo, <laughs> beta is zero. When beta is zero, we're back with solo, aren't we? So this fits, because when we set beta to zero, y dot over y is g. But the bigger is beta, the less is y dot over y, with constant r, yeah, so this drops out. So what's going on? We've got this factor of production which you can't increase over time. So that puts a drag on growth because otherwise in balanced growth K grows at the same rate as AL and everything and Y also grows at the same rate as AL. But when this one comes into the production function and can't grow, that puts a drag on the growth rate. Super straightforward.